Hey everyone, I'm Dom from Wondershare Uniconverter and in this video I'm gonna show you how to split up a large and long audio file to smaller and shorter pieces using the AI MP3 cutter tool of the Uniconverter. First of all, let's see what you can do with, for example, where all the songs in one single file you can use the mp3 cutter to split that large chunk of audio file to the separate songs. Or if you have your own songs or a long podcast that you want to create preview files of, the mp3 cutter does the job for you. Furthermore, you can easily create ringtones of songs for example, and it also supports ID3 metadata, which means that you can organize your audio library according to the artist, album name, playlist name, and so on. And in certain cases, the AI will recognize these metadata, so you won't have to type in manually. Alright, now let's see how it works, but before that, make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more how-to videos. Open up the Uniconverter. Select the MP3 cutter tool either from the home page or from the tools menu on the left side. Import your audio file. You can do that by selecting it from your media browser or drag and dropping it. It will take a few minutes while the AI tool splits up the music. While that's happening, let me remind you to check out some of our other videos where we showcase tools that also use artificial intelligence. Now that the AI is done splitting up the audio file, you can see here all the tracks it found. You can see right here the first one, it recognized that it's time by Hans Zimmer. And it also filled out the metadata. You can go through them and check if they're correct with the starting and ending points. And if you want to modify one of them, you can move the cursor up here, set to start, and then move the cursor again, and set it to end. You can do that as many times as you need. If you wanna add a new track, click on the plus button next to the music list, and now a new track is added. When you add a new track to the list, it's always best to first set the end point, and then set it to start point. You can add as many tracks to the list as you want. You can play each track separately. You can give them a name one by one. Maybe they're just numbers. You can give them metadata one by one. Artist name, album name, Jenner. You can apply these to all. You can replace your main audio anytime, but then the AI process will start again. When you're done, Select an output folder and then click on export. It will export your tracklist separately track by track. And now here you can see all the exported tracks. And that's it! It's a very useful tool that you can use in various scenarios. If you learned something new today, please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel with the notifications turned on so you never miss a new upload. This is all for today, thank you so much for watching and I'm gonna see you in the next video.